Okay. Hey everyone, it's CJ here, otherwise known as Jersey Who 90. Yeah, so on to the next one. Whoops, I dropped it. No block for boys. Let's get on with it. See if I can master this tape better this time. That one on the girls was exceptionally tough. It's no block, you have to your t tape is too tough. Is that it? Yeah, got that. Right, turn it around, open it up. There we go. Inside, right. Oh, oh. I feel a squishy thing, so I'm going to get this out straight away because I think I'm going to get a Skylander, another Skylander thing in here. One of those stupid puppets. It certainly feels like it. There's a hole in its butt. Yay! Oh, that's pretty cool. That's awesome. I don't know who he is. I don't know any of the Sky Real Skylanders characters, so that's rubbish. Apart from Sky of uh, Sky, Sky. I mean Sky. Skyro, Skyro, the baby dragon, the dragon from. Oh, for Pete's sake! What is he called? Oh my God! I can't remember. I've forgotten where Sky, where the dragon, what the first ever. Well, the dragon game was gold. Spyro! Spyro, of course. He's the only one I know because, obviously, since I come from the generation that were played Spyro the Dragon and loved it greatly. It was the best, one of the best games they never did. But I never got into the Skylanders thing because I never had a modern console. I only had a PlayStation 2. But anyway, that's a pretty cool one. I quite like that one. The other one was a bit naff because I couldn't understand how he was going to stay on the pencil. But this one makes more sense because if I grab the same pen I used before and stick it up his bottom, that makes more sense as a topper because you can use it. Look. Ooh. See? You can easily draw with that one on the top of your pen. But the other one you couldn't because it would fall off every time you try to move it. But I like that one. I quite like that. I think that's cool. So... I like that one, so you're excused on that one uh, block. It's really, but anyway. So next one, I feel the two blind bags again. Yep, same as the girls. Oh, but I got a different character, so that's cool. I like, I like, I like. Yeah, that's cool. So it's the Star Wars Dangler again, and I have Princess Leia. So that's really cool. So. And it's the same sort of, it's exactly the same, obviously, apart from it's a different character. I'm quite pleased I got a different character. Yay! So, there she is. Princess Leia. So, I'm cool. I'm happy with that. Princess Leia. And some stickies. And a leaflet. And that's that. Next one, this is going to be a Super Mario Wii Dangler. Yes! <laughs> Super Mario Wii Dangler. Like the girls. I wonder. Hope we haven't got the same guy. I wonder who we've got actually. Oh, that's cool. I'm not bothered about that. I like this one. This one's cool. I have the bomb. That's a really cool. I really like that one. That's really awesome. So that's cool. That's all. You just get the dangler and a leaflet without no stickers. So that's cool. Next we have, oh, 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 awkward, oh. Now, I don't know how this one's going to, oh, 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 this is intriguing me. Ooh. Right, I'm going to dig right down to the bottom and pull out this because I knew this was going to be the same. Owl again, exactly the same as the girls. There's still an awful lot of cool things in there, so I'm not bothered about this being in here. And that I've got two of them because I ordered the boys and the girls. So, that's that. Now I'm intrigued by this. They look feels like there's two big things in here. So I'm intrigued. That girl's I reckon that girl in the girls book, that Barbie one must have been quite expensive. Being that I've got two bigger items come for the boys. That these must be cheaper items maybe. But yeah, that's intriguing at all. So what was the other thing I had? The Barbie and Oh, with a little pet shop toy. So that's intriguing. I've got... 
Oh, it's Ben 10. I knew there was going to be a Ben 10 item in here. What is it? Oh, they're cool. Oh, that's, they're awesome. I've never watched Ben 10. Oh, actually, technically, that's a lie. I've watched one episode, and that's because my nephew was watching it. So, but it was, a, I quite liked it. I quite like the idea of the show. It's a boy that can shapeshift into different aliens. He's got this little bracelet that allows him to shift into different aliens and fight other people. It's really cool. Anyway, I like the show. It's pretty cool. What I saw of the show, it's all pretty awesome. This is Ben 10 Omnibus. I went on the Ben 10 coaster, uh, um, completely off the subject, but I went in the, on the Ben 10 um, roller coaster at Drayton Manor, and that was really fun. It was a really cool coaster, even though it was, and I loved the entrance to it. It was the best entrance to a roller coaster I've ever been on any, ever. You heard sounds as if he was coming into a secret laboratory and everything, and his secret laboratory, it looked, it was like as if you were entering into his secret laboratory and walking around it before you got to the ride. It was really cool. Now, I'm quite happy with these. These are really cool. Like I said, I don't know who the characters are. Oh, it, oh, uh, one's called Blocks and one's called Forearms. <laughs> but yeah. They're really cool little characters though, so I'm not bothered about the getting these whatsoever. But yeah, I should watch more Ben 10, because it's pretty cool. I might have to say that, yeah, I can say that. I can say I enjoy Ben 10. I like watch Adventure Time, so why not? Um, I like it. I like kids' programmes. Get over it. Um, yeah. So... These are blocks and forearms. I've just, yeah. So, whoop, take them out of their packet. As I do, I don't keep stuff in packets. Oh, that is awesome. That is an awesome little thing. He's going to go somewhere on my shelf for sure. Blocks! He's really cool. I like him. Does he stand? He does. That's really cool. Doubly awesome. And this one is forearms. So that's really cool. I like the way... He's got four hands, he's got four arms. Haha. <laughs> Simple, but I love it. He's an awesome, cool character. He's, that's an awesome character. I like that. That's really cool. The day, it seems a little bit mean. Ah! <laughs> oh, the poor dude. Look. Not only does he have four arms, he's got four eyes. <laughs> poor dude. But yeah, that's really cool. I like that. That's awesome. Those are really cool. I'm well chuffed with those. I don't know what the plot of Ben 10 is, apart from that he he's got this bracelet that allows him to shift into different aliens and he fights other aliens that come to Earth. But yeah, it's really cool. So, I'm intrigued. What is this? Oh, oh I don't know what this could be. It feels really strange. Let's just get open and see. What is it? Oh, the amazing Spider-Man! Projector light. Oh, God. Okay, fine. All right then. Oh, that's uh, okay. I yeah. Why not? Okay, fine. Yeah, that is the last thing in the box, by the way. So, but this thing I've got in my hand. So, it is the Amazing Spider-Man Projecto Light. So, it's like a torch, and you stick the different things on the end, and it gives you a different. Months, it gives you a different face, so that's cool. I wonder if I could let's get this open anyway. It's a cool that's pretty cool. I like that. So, I'm impressed with these Nerd Block Juniors this month. Oh, get into it, of course. So, the question is. There's not really batteries in this, is there? I've probably just opened it and there's no batteries in it. Yay! No batteries included, of course. That's not a fault for Loot Crate, though. I don't. I mean, Nerd Block. I don't blame Nerd Block for that at all. Um, 
Does it tell me which ones? That would be useful. Please tell me what batteries you require. Batteries, batteries, batteries. Don't see any information about batteries. Battery safety information. Uh -huh. You gonna tell me which ones? Nope. Anyway, anyway. Oh, there we go. Oh, how to change the battery. Oh, it, it doesn't actually say. <laughs> to insert or change batteries, twist the ring of the... Yeah, I've got that already then. So I figured that one out already. <coughs> it always makes me laugh how they tell you how to put the batteries in the product. Most of the time it's so simple. The instructions make them get more complicated than it is. Make it out to be more complicated than it is. Remove all batteries. Haha. <laughs> no need for that. There's none in there. Right. Two AAs. I can do that. Because look. This is my box. Inside it has all the batteries I could ever require for about two years. <laughs> so, there you go. <laughs> no, put that back. Right. You going to tell me which way up they go? Oh, it tells me on the side. I didn't even need to look on the packaging. Oh, what's uh, one battery, two battery. Squishy into the thing battery. Turn on. Oh, how am I even going to show you guys this? Look. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it does work. Mwah. Just about, you can actually see the print on it, so yeah, that's cool. And they do fit on nicely, so I'm not bothered about that. That's cool. So, it works. You got a little cap where you can change which figure you got. You stick on the end, and you stick it on, and it's all. It's a really, actually, probably decent torch, even with a, even if you don't use these things. It's still a decent torch. So that's really cool. So, there you go. And it says the Amazing Spider-Man on the side. What more do you want? Right. So, that's everything that was in the Nerdbook Junior Boys. Which I am really chuffed about. Everything, I love everything in it. It's, so, that's cool. Um, yeah, I like that. A lot. It's a really, really nice load of stuff in there this time. Much better than last month's. Last month's I didn't rate too much. But anyway, all I can say is much better than last month. I love it. It's brilliant. It's really, really cool. 